Hi folks, and welcome back to another Philosophy Club. Okay, so today we're going to look at the beginnings of a trend in philosophy called existentialism. Now, existentialism is just a fancy name given to a way of thinking about certain ideas such as the meaning of life, choice, responsibility, ethics, and human nature. And to do that, we're going to start with a Danish philosopher called Soren Kierkegaard. Now, Kierkegaard was inspired by an Old Testament story in the Bible where God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac to prove his faith in God. Heavy stuff. Side note, murder is always bad, and another side note, blindly obeying orders is also bad. So, back to the story. So, God's all like, Abe, prove your faith in me, sacrifice Isaac, and Abe's like, Hmm... Okay... But then just at the last moment, God stops Abe and is all like, It was all a test, you passed! Hooray! And I know what you're thinking, right? We've we've all been there. Yeah, I know. So Kierkegaard was a man of faith, and the idea that God could ask him to do something that was wrong really troubled him. He started to think about the differences between the ethical world, which is how we should treat people, and the spiritual and religious world, on the other hand. On the religious side of things, he thought that faith was not always reasonable, and that sometimes, like Abraham, faith required us to make a leap of faith. And a leap of faith is just doing something even though there is little reasonable hope that the outcome will be a happy one. So for Kierkegaard, this is what faith is. It's a leap. It's a jump into the unknown. But since we're philosophers, at least for today we're more interested in what Kierkegaard and Abe can teach us about the world now. So we want to look at the philosophical parts of the story. So we're going to look at the idea that Abe was challenged with not only something that was terrible, but something that just did not make any sense to him. Essentially something that was so against not only his reason, but it was so terrible that it took away any reason he saw in the world. This spoke to Kierkegaard, who questioned the worth and meaning of life when it seems like nothing makes sense. So let's look at some themes that appear in the story. First is the freedom to choose. So we all have the freedom to choose, and our choices are always our own. Abe had the choice to obey God or not. Unlike people who blindly follow the rules, Abe struggled with the laws of society that told him to keep Isaac safe from harm and his duty to obey God. And it is this struggle that makes Abe interesting philosophically. So the next theme is responsibility. In the story, Abe didn't tell Isaac or his wife about his choice because it would not make sense to them, but he was ready to face whatever the consequences of his actions. Our choices may not make sense to others, and we must sometimes accept that, but we must take responsibility for our actions. This is a big part of Kierkegaard's idea. Ethical choices must be personal, and not just doing what others think is right. Kierkegaard saw a difference between someone who just follows the rules because they are the rules, and someone who does the right thing because they have thought about it. Abe's story shows this conflict really well. And finally, the last theme that comes up in the story is that of meaning. So imagine you're in Abe's position, and your faith in God is everything. You trust God, and then he asks you to sacrifice your only son. How confused would you be, right? Like, it's not something we get asked to do every day. If your world consisted of your faith, then the world might stop making sense to you, because how could God ask you to do this? There are times when the world might seem meaningless, and this may cause us great distress and confusion as to what we should do. Abe and Kierkegaard found meaning through their faith, but for those without faith, the question remained open. Now, I mentioned at the start of this video that Kierkegaard is seen as the beginning of something called existentialism. Existentialists would argue that what we need to create is our own meaning to life. Existentialists too tried to make sense of the world that seemed to have lost its meaning after much suffering and destruction of the two world wars of the last century. They would take inspiration from Kierkegaard's ideas and themes and change them into something new again for a more modern world. And it's some of those thinkers that we'll be talking about next week. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, take care and we'll talk to you again soon.